All right, so here we are at number five, and the directions are to decide whether the pair of lines is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And we've been given two equations, the first being 3x minus 4y equals 17, and the second, 8x plus 6y equals negative 6. And you may recall that when, we're when we are deciding whether or not lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither, we're going to compare the slopes of those two equations. And at the very end, when we compare the slopes, if two lines have the same slope, so m again is your slope, so if two lines have the same slope, those lines are said to be parallel. Not necessarily in this direction, but they are parallel, right? If, however, we have two lines and their slopes are opposite reciprocals, then those two lines are said to be perpendicular. So they're going in 180 degrees different directions, and so they're going to form right angles with each other. If, however, at the end we end up with two lines where the slopes are neither the exact same nor are they opposite reciprocals, then uh, these are said to be neither. So in this case, we may have a line that's going this way, and we may have a line that's going this way. It doesn't really matter. All we're trying to say is that these two lines, the slopes of these lines, they're not identical, and they're not directly opposite reciprocals. So they're just neither. So using this information, let's go ahead and take each of these lines put them into y equals mx plus b, because that's the only form that we can directly see what the slope of the line is, and compare. So with equation 1, 3x oops, minus 4y equals 17, let's go ahead and put this into y equals mx plus b. And we're going to do that for both of these. So first things first, we'll subtract 3x from both sides, and that's going to leave us with negative 4y equals now negative 3x plus 17. And to solve for y, we'll divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. And so we end up with y equals positive 3 over 4x minus 17 over 4. And so our slope for this line is positive 3 over 4. All right, let's go ahead now and put our second equation into y equals mx plus b and see what its slope is. So we've been given 8x plus 6y equals 6. So if we want to solve for y, let's go ahead and subtract 8x from both sides. That leaves us with 6y equals negative 8x plus 6. Lastly here, we'll divide by 6 on both sides. That leaves us with y equals negative 4 over 3x plus 1. And so our slope for this line is negative 4 thirds. All right, so here's our slope for line two. Here's our slope for line one. So let's see what we have here. Well, looks like we have opposite reciprocals, doesn't it? Because opposite refers to the sign. So if you're going to have perpendicular lines, one of your slopes has to be positive, one has to be negative. That's what opposite means. So this refers to the sign, the word opposite. Reciprocal means flip, doesn't it? So here, in our first equation, we have a 3 in the numerator. In the second equation, we have a 4 in the numerator. And in the first, we have a 4 in the denominator. Here we have a 3 in the denominator. So these are directly flipped. So these are uh, reciprocals of each other. And because one is positive, one is negative, these are opposite. And so these two lines are perpendicular. Again, if we had put both of these equations into y equals mx plus b, and we got the exact same slope, so m equals 3 over 4, m equals 3 over 4, then they would be parallel. We ended up with opposite reciprocals, so they are perpendicular. And if we got neg uh, 3 over 4 here, and let's just say, I don't know, m equals, who know, uh, you know, 4 fifths, let's just say, negative 4 fifths, then because these are not exactly the same, and they're not opposite reciprocals, these would be neither. All right, but for number five, our answer is perpendicular because we ended up with opposite reciprocal slopes.